mobility of it gives so much freedom and opportunities. It can be set up anywhere that art normally doesn't go. The idea of the traveling museum really came out of driving around in the countryside and, and really noticing fish houses. And using that kind of structure to create a whole museum entity. It's a really friendly way to deconstruct the structure of the art institution. We're here today at uh, Art World in Northeast Minneapolis, exhibiting um, my own work and Lisa's work. We hooked it up to our truck and, and drove it about 100 miles, got through rush hour traffic and plopped it down here at the, at the site. It has had this build it and they will come experience that I've been pleasantly overwhelmed and humbled about. People picking up the phone and say, bring that here. We want that. Someone can use it as a, like a drawing studio, almost like, um, you know, the little cabin in the woods, the writer's cabin. The piece that we brought to the, the Southwest Minnesota Arts uh, Council installation where we invited people to do drawings. We were able to research a little bit about that location and do some drawing prompts on the paper. And they then, just jumped right in, really. And they just jumped yeah. right in. And at the end of the day, we had all these drawings. Today is Field Trip. It's our annual fall festival. Silverwood Park has decided, you know, the kind of programming they want. So it's always still our structure. It's our logo. It's our sculpture. It's our, our we're the architects. We're allowing them to curate the space. Inside the Traveling Museum, I've got images from my project Impact, which are images of birds that have died due to collisions with um, reflective surfaces. So we thought the connection between Miranda's work and our mission at Silverwood to teach people about the environment through the arts is really strong. So sometimes we want to curate the project, and then sometimes we bring the building. Mm -hmm. They bring yeah. the art. There's a lot of ways that it makes it really impossible as an artist to have access to the residency. You live in a place where it's just not geographically possible, you can't leave your job, you have other responsibilities. Now there's traveling museum is here for a week. You have to be here to do this thing. She said, we really want you to think about the physical space itself and how you can transform it. With the light reflecting off of the emergency foil blankets, it's going to create a different temperature inside the museum. So I'm making three objects out of material that I've found um, in the woods, lakes, and also on my land. There's a subtle thing with context, parking it next to the space station, which is a recording studio. Our whole idea is to um, use this week to record three songs, and then we're going to loop them inside of the traveling museum. We're actually trying to like look at Naomi's visual work and, and trying to hear the song in that work, you know. It's really important that artists get time to experiment and time to explore. The museum gives so much freedom and opportunity so that we can bring the residency to the artist. At the Wilmer Public Library, it was a really great opportunity to connect with a non-art institution. So today we have a couple events going on. We have the Traveling Museum, and then we kind of coordinated that with a local author roundtable. We put out a call, and so we're able to bring in an artist that is creating site-specific work specific to that library audience. This whole project started when I got all the works of Robert Louis Stevenson at a neighbor's garage sale. We thought it was a really good idea. We think uh, Wilmer is a place that doesn't get a lot of public art. So we're always out here trying to get people more interested in contemporary art. And so if you are allowed to have a serendipitous experience with an art museum, otherwise you're not going to go. I just came to the library. Let's go on the internet and seen this. First thing I've ever been to and it's actually pretty cool. Interesting. At the end of the day, it's about visual language and visual experience and experimentation and ideas. We've been able to sort of run the gamut of playing with different modes of being an institution. There's just so much flexibility with the yeah. mobility itself. Mm -hmm.